Hello and welcome to DVB English News. I'm Joe. In this week's headlines, Regime touts new electoral system. Rohingya form committee to establish consultative council. Nearly 100 Rohingya military conscripts killed. Aid reaches Karen National Union territory. Calls for Thailand to provide asylum to those evading conscription. Mean Online claimed that the military's planned election will be conducted under a mixed first-past-the-post and proportional representation system. He made the remarks at an Armed Forces Day event in Naypyidaw on Wednesday. Under first-past-the-post, the candidate with the plurality of the votes wins an election. Well, under proportional representation, parliamentary seats are awarded based on the vote a political party receives nationwide. Mean Online didn't announce a date for his planned election, but he accused resistance forces of trying to sabotage it. The military's Armed Forces Day Parade in Naypyidaw on March 27th was scaled back compared to previous years. Rohingya human rights activists and politicians announced a new committee to establish the Rohingya Consultative Council on Tuesday. This committee is composed of eight organizations and 25 people that seek to promote the political interests of the Rohingya. Jaiva Alam, a committee spokesperson, told DVB that it is the first time that Rohingya have a body established by them built from the ground up rather than the top down. He added that it was established after months of organizing with stakeholders in Burma, Bangladesh, and the Rohingya diaspora. He said that the Rohingya Consultative Council is expected to be formed two months after the Islamic holy month of Ramadan. The committee was set up independently and has not yet established ties with other resistance groups. The president of the Burmese Rohingya organization UK, Toon Kin, told DVB that hundreds of Rohingya in Arakan state have been forcibly recruited. He claimed that at least 97 Rohingya military conscripts have been killed during fighting with the Arakan army so far. This is new level of dehumanization by the regime to forcibly take our young men, put them in military uniform and use them as human shields. It is hard to comprehend this kind of brutality, this depravity. That was Toon Kin, the president of the Burmese Rohingya Organization UK. In 2021, Toon Kin filed a case against the military on allegations of genocide under universal jurisdiction in an Argentine court. A 2017 military operation in northern Arakan state forced over 700,000 Rohingya to flee into Bangladesh. The US labeled it a genocide in 2022. The Karen National Union announced that humanitarian aid delivered from Thailand on Monday reached its territory in Pa'an district of Karen state on Wednesday. The aid was distributed to 20,000 internally displaced persons that fled their homes during attacks by the military. The KNU stated that the Karen Border Guard Force transported the aid shipment from Miawadi to KNU territory along with officials from the Royal Thai Army. The KNU criticized the participation of the military regime in Naypyidaw via its proxy, the Myanmar Red Cross. It called for consultations before further humanitarian aid deliveries are shipped into Myanmar. The founder of the human rights group Progressive Voice, Ken Oma, told DVB that Thailand should provide protection for people seeking asylum from military conscription. The people of Myanmar, especially those young people, fleeing their country are not because they want to seek a job in Thailand illegally or und undocumented. They come into the Thailand because they are fleeing from that military persecution and violence. That was Ken Oma, a human rights activist and founder of Progressive Voice. The military conscription law was activated on February 10th. It stipulates men aged 18 to 35 and women aged 18 to 27 must serve a minimum of two years. Those who refuse conscription could face up to two years in prison. And that's it for this week's headlines. I'm Joe. Coming up, C-Junction will host an exhibit starting April 2nd called Trails of Absence and Symbols of Presence, Loss and Protest in Myanmar's Spring Revolution at the Bangkok Art and Culture Center until April 21st. Stay tuned to DVB English News on Facebook, X, 
Instagram, Threads, and TikTok. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. Thanks for listening.